Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. Hello Ndu natives, we back again and this time I have twisted this recipe. So it is akara. Kose, but not as you know it. Of course, with that in dudu to west. Now, today I'll be showing you how I make my aboboy akara. Yes, aboboy is made out of bambara beans. Really, is bambara nuts. But we refer to it as bambara beans, so that's what I'm going to refer to throughout the video. Anyway, what you need to do is soak your bamboo beans now. In the absence of it, because of course the lockdown, you can use chickpeas as well. I might as well try that recipe as well and let you guys know the outcome of it because I'm sure the flavors will be different. Anyway, once you soak your bamboo beans overnight, yes, change the water twice. And then once you're ready, rinse it. And here we have the bambara beans. So now I'm going to talk about the rest of the ingredients. So here I've got my red pepper that I'm charring, as you can tell, and that would give it that smoky flavor, almost like a smoked paprika sort of flavor. And you've got the choice of either using your jalapeno chilies, your petit bell chilies, which is known as the bakbushito, your normal green chilies. Next thing, I've got my onions that I'll be using and as well as ginger. Yeah, so this is nice and spicy and beautiful. So traditionally, aboboy is served with some plantain pancakes. So guess what? I'm going to incorporate that plantain into the beans. Absolutely. So this is not any other food. This is in Dudu by Fafa. So if this is your first time, you're welcome. Definitely do subscribe. And also, please don't forget to activate your notifications to all so you do not miss any future videos. So I've added my onions and now I'm adding my petit bell chilies known as bakbushito and of course my ginger. The next thing I'm going to do is add my charred peppers. Exactly. Now you noticed earlier I had my smoked herons there. I was deliberating on whether to include that or not but because I wanted a vegetarian option I omitted that altogether but you can do that if you wish. So yes I've got my charred peppers in here and now I'm adding my plantain. So it was over ripened plantain that I froze yes because we're in a lockdown so nothing goes to waste and here I'm just adding about two um, plantain sizes here. So they were like medium to large sizes that I'm using for this. Now traditionally aboboy has a sweet taste because we usually include a bit of sugar and cloves and stuff like that in there that makes it ever so great. But I'm omitting the sugar here because of course the overripened plantain is sweet in itself anyway. So yes this is not any other food this is in Dudu by Fafa. Now for an easy blend, I did add 200 milliliters of water, but I'd leave all the measurements and the list of ingredients and the transcripts of this recipe on my blog, fafagilbert.com. So what I'm now doing is just aerating the mixture after I've added my salt. And that is just going to make for a fluffy and beautiful akara or kose, may I say. So here I'm adding my sliced banana shallots. You can use any onions you have available and some chopped green chilies. The next thing is I'm adding some yellow peppers that I've diced, but you can use any peppers that you have available or omit it all together. The remaining charred red peppers, I've just added that and I'm just going to mix everything together until it's well combined, as I always say. So at this point, this mixture is ready for some frying, for some ch, -ch, -ch as I like to say. <laughs> if you have watched this video to this point, thank you very much for supporting the channel. I appreciate that a lot. You also need to check my green plantain akara recipe. You'd love it. Absolutely. Absolutely. To my wok, I've added my preferred oil for frying. You can use any oil of your choosing, but definitely not olive oil. You can try peanut oil, granite oil, vegetable oil, the choice is yours. Now, I just used the tip of one of the chilies that I used as a tester to test, you know, how hot my oil is. And it is perfect. The oil has been on the high heat 
for at least about four minutes. So yes. Now, as this is a new recipe for me, yes, and there's a new experience because I've just created this, what I tend to do is fry it in batches. So of course, the first one I am testing to see how long, A, it takes to cook, B, what are the pitfalls? Do I need to, you know, change the recipe? Do I need to add more moisture, delete, you know, it's just more of a testing. And so you are experiencing this as I made this. And, you know, interestingly enough, I made this today. I shared it on my Instagram stories and also on my Instagram page. Yes, you can check that out. And I was like, yeah, let me share this immediately because this is a great recipe to enjoy. Now, the recipe that was scheduled for today, um, I will actually have that uploaded tomorrow and it's an amazing drink recipes that would really pair well with this as well so anyway the frying process after doing the first attempt it did take about six minutes so it's three minutes on each side and i scooped just about a table and a half spoonful of the mixture into the oil as you can tell and of course once you add the mixture to the oil where well, you notice there are little particles that comes out of it or you know little remnants of it and you might be scared and I feel like, oh my God, this is just going to splash everywhere and splatter. No, reserve those little bits. They're crunchy and absolutely beautiful. Now, right before your eyes, you can see it just forms into a beautiful ball. Now, when I did pour the mixture in, you'd notice that it was a little bit on the runny side and it just didn't look like it was going to form that, but it did. So yes, that I knew that the consistency that I had made for this recipe definitely worked and I liked it. Um, it was one that allows an even cook because there's something about akara that sometimes you can fry it and when you fry it and open in the middle is uncooked but this it works perfectly so just follow this through and you are good to go now of course because we've included that over ripened plantain that contains more sugar in its natural self you would notice that this akara takes more of a darker look than the normal akara, but it is great. It's almost like using banana, frying banana fritters in a way, yes. So here we have it. And here I was attempting to get out of here, let's see how it works, but it just forms into that beautiful ball that I like. Do not get me wrong, when I started this recipe, started creating this recipe, I was like, well, oh, would it work? Would it not work? And I was like, what have I got to lose? If it doesn't work, of course, I'm not going to put it up, but I wouldn't like to waste food. So I'll sit in my own little corner and I'll eat it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> exactly. So, of course, with that in mind, I had to make sure that it worked. And look at that. Just beautiful. So, of course, I've just blotted it and I've used my strainer. So, the excess oil has just come through. And now, let's serve this pierce the resistance. So, instead of having your apple boy and your plantain pancakes, here you have your apple boy akara or kose. Or may I say kakro? Yes. You know what? If you've got another inventive name, just leave your comments below. Most definitely. I'd appreciate it a lot. Now, do not forget to smash the like button. If you do like this video, share with your family and friends. Try the recipe. Absolutely. And um, leave comments with your feedback as well. So now look at what it looks like inside. And I love the onions. You see, that's why I think they sliced it. So you can get that crunch. Look at the yellow pepper, the red pepper. And you've got it there. Nice, moist, and oh, so good. Look at that. This is not any other food. This is Indudu by Fafa Notification Gang. Thank you guys so much for your love. I appreciate each and every one of you. And to my loyal subscribers, thank you ever so much for awarding or giving me this platform to share my creativity. Me, as I always say, I love you for you. As I mentioned, I'd leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog 
fafagilbert.com so do check it out i'm also on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat as indudu by fafa so pass by and say hi Narelle, thank you very much for my theme song and until my next recipe which of course i'll be uploading tomorrow take very good care of yourselves and me as i always say i love you for you most importantly please protect yourselves love you